One of the best features about Android, Google Now, is now available for iOS as well. This is Andrew from MobileBurn.com. Let's take a hands-on look at Google Now for iOS. Google Now has been one of the most sought after features of Android and is finally available on iOS and it provides a variety of features. For instance, uh, when I log in, it knows and takes signals from things that I've done in the past to give me information. So it knows my current location and gives me a weather forecast for that week. It knows where I am and where my job is, so it tells me how to get there and how much how long it's going to take under current traffic conditions. It also shows photos nearby if I want to take photos and I can change what appears by showing uh, different cards available on the sections and when I refresh now it tells me I have an appointment It tells me how to get there as well as uh, what time I need to leave. It gives me a recommendation for a local restaurant and if I want to change what appears I just tap on settings and I can choose what comes on. You can have appointments Flight information, Gmail uh, will interrupt, intercept other things regarding important information from your email. And it will give Google Now more chances to know what it should show you. The whole point of this is to anticipate what's going to appear. So uh, in terms of what you can do, like I mentioned, uh, you can also have your sports teams. For instance, it knows that my favorite soccer team is Arsenal. So it tells me the times that they play. It shows me scores of past games. Uh, you can also have information to how to get to your house, public transit information, and if you have upcoming flights, for instance, like I mentioned before, this is a flight I have coming up, and it's going to give me information on that. So you can have calendar appointments, all that things, and if you're in new places, it tells you currency exchange, how to uh, translate certain words. So you have a variety of options when you're using Google for iOS. Sadly, you're not getting the complete Google experience because it's not exactly as integrated as it is with Android. For instance, right now it tells me I have this appointment and I can get directions to it. But if you look on the Android version of Google now, in addition to getting directions and navigation, it can also let me notify the guests that I'm going to be a few minutes late. So that's one thing that's missing. Another sore point, you don't get notifications. On Android, I actually tells me and actively tells me, hey, you need to leave now in order to reach this appointment. I don't get that on iOS because it doesn't support push notifications. You're only going to see that type of things when you actively go to iOS, I mean the iOS search app, and try to get the information. Another thing that's missing is the nearby events uh, card. That's one card that lets me know what's going on in the area and if in case I want to find something to do I can get that you're not gonna get that on iOS unfortunately but you will be able to get restaurant recommendations from time to time uh, depending on where you are also be prepared to do without the wait command on Android I can say Google who is the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and it goes and searches for that automatically. All I have to do is say a word. So I have a wait command and it responds to voice commands. Uh, with the Android app, you have to scroll back up into the standard search app and you have to actually tap on it to let it know who is the vice president, uh, whatever. You guys know what I said. <laughs> Okay, so this is basically the new search app for iOS with Google Now integrated. There are some things that are, are missing definitely from the Android version because it's not as integrated. But at the same time, you have the cards information. You have the key major things that are going to excite people about Google Now. Hopefully some of the other things will be able to come eventually. But at the moment, this is just what you have to deal with. This is Andrew from MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.